If you don't sleep often enough, they come after you. There they are up in the sky. Cosma took a shot. Oh. <laughs> that one knocked me right off the sidewalk into the water. I hate those phantoms. Hey everybody. It's Halloween night. I'm hanging out here across the street from the fire station. We're going to be having a jack-o'-lantern hunt, uh, hopefully, here in a little bit. And I'm just inspecting the monster spawners. When we go into survival mode for the jack-o'-lantern hunt, these monsters that spawn are going to give us grief. There's no creepers. We purposely left those out of the equation because we don't want a lot of damage to occur to Patronville, which is the name of this city in my realm. I'm a little bit early, and I'm not sure if we're going to have enough people turn out for this event. We shall see. Okay. I'm in Izzy the Tiger's basement, and... He kind of checked out for a few minutes to get some, some batteries for his mouse. So I'm going to run down to the post office and see if anyone else has uh, arrived. Uh, we've already decided not to have the jack-o'-lantern hunt. There's just not enough people, so I canceled it uh, until further notice. And Crazy Legs 103 is present. You remember that he is the, the CEO of Labs. And if you've been watching my videos, you know what Labs is that mysterious corporation. So, anyway, we have skipped ahead. And there's four of us here, and we decided just to go, just to go clear some caves. So we're down here in the, in the gloomy, damp, subterranean, uh, dank, dreary cave system below the city. We got to this dead end and doesn't seem to be anything down here so let's run, 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 run this way. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Look at all the all the arrows that that Izzy the tiger has. <laughs> Do you see all those arrows sticking out of him? So crazy legs are shooting at something down here. And he got it. Where'd everybody go?
Who's that? Okay, that's crazy legs. Another dead end. Let's just follow him. There's a couple of guys up there. Besides Izzy the Tiger and Crazy Legs 103. Kazba is also with us tonight. Clearing these caves, though always a daunting, uh, formidable task, is much easier when you have three other people with you. Now, when you're trying to do this by yourself, it's uh, nerve-wracking, to say the least. And in certain situations, it, it can become uh, what's a good word? Unnerving. Somebody's swimming around down there. It's crazy legs. Okay, there's apparently an abandoned mine shaft. Cosmo's got his crossbow out. And I've got my bow and arrow. We're using caution. He's put a jack-o'-lantern on his head because we see an ender up here, an enderman. Is watching my back. Oops, already disoriented. Did he just kill a bat? Oh, it's dark. Dark and spooky up here. And you can tell... Oh, two creepers. No. No, that was three. And a skeleton. Oh, another creeper. That's four. One thing, one thing that I think I've never, at least I don't remember, running across in my explorations uh, is a creeper spawner. I guess those exist. I mean, I would love to find one someday. There's creepers all over this area. Oh, 
this water. Careful, Cosmo. You never know what's around the corner. And... Uh-oh. Ah, we attack the creeper from both sides. All these creepers this can be quite the hair-raising situation, especially when there's at least two or three at coming at you at one time. Another dead end. Let's see if we can just... This is what we do when we hit a dead end. We just kind of mine off to the side just to see if we run into any kind of a cave system close by. I hear a zombie. I just not sure where he is. I don't know if he's below us or above us. But I can't loiter too long. I need to try to keep up with these guys. They're doing most of the monster slaying while I kind of hang back with a with a video camera and document this event and I've done this before and I don't think I've ever captured any of my team uh, being being killed by a monster. Though I did round the corner one time and see one of my team members uh, that they had gotten slayed because all of their loot and all of their tools and weapons were kind of just floating there, but they were nowhere to be found. And my team member promptly got back into the game and teleported himself to my location, which was the same location he had met his demise. And he picked up all of his gear and then we continued on. Why does he keep killing bats? <laughs> I say that like I've never killed one, but I've killed plenty of bats. They kind of get in your face. Kind of, they're kind of creepy. I mean, you never know if they have rabies or not. That looks uh, pretty well explored. Man, we're on level 14. So we're down there, we're down here pretty good ways. I mean, almost to bedrock.
mine off to the side just to see and I've got nothing It's kind of embarrassing to, to mine off to the side and then end up with nothing. But somebody mining over here close by has run into something. I can hear the commotion of a battle occurring just yards from me. doesn't see it. He does not see the creeper. Yeah, he had his back to it. Here's the zombie twins. Cosmo's pretty deadly with that crossbow. And then I hear crazy legs throwing tridents. Okay, he came back to get us, so let's follow him. Maybe Cosbo will catch up. Izzy the tiger is out of torches. I told him I have plenty. I usually carry a lot of torches because I do not want to find myself down here in the dark. That's the most uh, unideal situation you can be in. No light when it comes to Minecraft. You've got to be able to see so let's throw some torches down here, if I can. Yeah. I'll give him some more. As he goes through a lot of torches. That should do him for a while. Uh-oh, zombies. Uh, I hope Izzy survived that. He's surrounded by him. Creepers ahead. Those explosions are spine chilling. Out of all the Minecraft monsters, the creeper's probably the most daunting of them all. Especially if they creep up behind you, take you by surprise. And 
And quite frankly, we would not be surviving a lot of these blasts if it wasn't for the fact that we have diamond armor protection. Oh, there's something up there. What's he looking at? He's still looking up. I guess it turned out to be nothing. What if I just mine a staircase upwards? Uh-oh. No, I just flooded the place. Okay, so it's just me and Kazma. What in the world? That's what I'm talking about. These things just sneak up on you. Oh, it's crazy legs. <laughs> I thought that was a I thought that was a creeper right there in my face. I saw that green skin. And he's dressed up as a creeper for Halloween, I guess. So, so far, we've, uh, we're still alive. Let's see, yeah, we're all four. All four of us are right here. Izzy the tiger has some kind of invisibility cloak thing going on. I see the armor, but I don't see any skin underneath it. It's like the invisible man. I liked how he just jumped across that. Can I do that? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, and that's, that's bedrock. I can't even break that. So here I am getting left behind. Having a fashion stepping stone. 
to jump to this painting. And where are we? Oh, we're in a jail. Yes, labs is into a lot of stuff. In uh, They're also into, they have a prison. Yeah, that's right, they have a prison. Right outside the city limits of uh, Patronville. Now, here we are on this crazy elevator. Going up. It's not a very smooth ride. I still have no idea how they build stuff like that. But we're outside. And we are at the prison. So I think we're trying to figure out what's next. There's some boats. I suppose we could take a boat. Uh, obviously, we're going to find another cave system. The sun, the sun's going down. Where is, what is what is this? That sign says party room. <laughs> oh, looks like a little looks like a little party room, all right. I don't know what those poles are for. But this is a over 21 realm. So, unless these guys are telling me a fib, they're all over 21 or 21 or older. So how do I get out of here? You know, we're in survival mode, so I can't fly. And there's not a ladder. Crazy Legs put himself in the survival mode, I mean creative mode, and flew out. I wonder if I can just build my way up out of here. Of course, that left the other guy trapped. But he looked like he was going into creative. But I do I do need to get out of here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna gonna teleport myself to one of the team members. We'll choose Izzy, and here we are. There's Izzy. There's the rest of the team. Come on, Kaz. Grab a boat. Let's turn this ship around. What was that? Somebody just flew back, maybe to close the gates. It might have been crazy legs. 
There's a prison behind me. And there's land ahead. Just teleport to wherever they are. And all four of us are together again. Crazy Legs has uh, he's gotten rid of his armor. I hope he doesn't regret that. And he's over there feeding one of his iron golems. His company builds those things. Do you remember the the assembly line that I showed you? Here's the baseball the park back there where the Jazz play their home games. And there's the lighthouse. Cosmo has gotten rid of his armor. I guess they think the battle is over. That is one cool shield Crazy has. I know of a, of a cave system, and uh, we'll see if these guys will just follow me over to it. It's kind of a cursed place, very frightening place. It probably dates back to medieval times, and it's it's so lonesome. It's it's a just a deep cave. It's very. It's a very chilling place. I went uh, just into the mouth of the cave, and I didn't want to go any further. And these guys, they look like they've just stopped off at uh, the Pink Thief's uh, tavern. There's no time for a beer, guys. Let's go. So this cave is not too far, it's not too far away, but I know there's monsters down there. It's right up here somewhere. There it is on the left, coming up. Yeah, the curse upon those that enter. That's what the sign says. It's kind of terrifying in and of itself. What's that say? It says you've been warned, so... So here we go. Hang on to your hats. Things are probably going to get a little bit dicey down here. He's got armor on now. <laughs> he didn't have a second ago, but now he does. <laughs> he took out that zombie that was about to jump Izzy.
Boy, look at the action. Who was it that just jumped down in there with them? That's nuts. That's a death wish. That is a death wish to jump into. <laughs> what was that up? Like a half a dozen monsters? Just jump right into the middle of them. He survived. I guess that's thanks to the armor. What a, what a, what a wretched subterraneous hostile place this is. Every time you turn around there's something, something they're trying to, trying to kill you. Creepers sneaking up on you all the time. Zombies trying to sink their teeth into your neck. Skeletons trying to put an arrow right through your head. It's, it's appalling. It's... Someone has discovered a, a creeper. And I hear arrows flying. Downward we go. That crossbow is so deadly. So I guess an axe and a crossbow seems to be Cosbo's weapons of choice. And here's a big ravine. He's, he was mighty close to the edge. Of course I am too.
skeleton. Uh oh. There's a dungeon. And you know what that means. Spawner. Skeletons. So we can cut them down at the legs. Oh. Izzy comes along and just rushes right in. That's probably why he's got arrows sticking out of him constantly. <laughs> it's just, he gets right down to business. Right down to business. Hey, I got a snowball. I could surprise somebody with a snowball. They sure wouldn't be expecting that, would they? <laughs> what happens if I just Looks like Cosmo wanted to take a shot at that bat. I'm not sure where we are. I don't know where the other guys have gone to. I've got to be careful around lava. It's a dead end, so let's go. I guess it's a dead end. Oh, there's a uh, spider, spider spawner down here. Give Izzy some torches. I'm sure he needs them. He's given away arrows. He's probably collected qu quite a few that were shot at him. Boy, that was a fat one. Dead end. Oh, crazy legs is checking out. He's he's got to go. Yep. What is... Uh, 
Okay, so there's just three of us now. Just looking, looking, looking. Hey, they left me. Where'd they go? We'll just teleport. Not sure where Cosmo has gotten off to. He's shooting at something. Obviously, we've been this way before. But not quite this far. It's another dead end. We'll grab a pickaxe. I'd found a cave. It was just, <laughs> it was a cave. It was only about two blocks by two blocks. And, uh, well, we've already been here. We should probably start thinking about how to get out of this place. I don't think he knows where he's going, but I'm going to follow him anyhow.
Well. What was that? A skeleton just dropped down from up there? What was that? I want to go back and take another look. Took some arrows, it looks like. Nope, oh, skeleton in the water, bobbing up and down. Boy, he gets some good shots off. And the crossbow took care of the situation. dead end. Now if you haven't tuned out by now, you are probably asleep. I'm getting pretty tired myself. Uh, I hear a little baby zombie. I can't stand the little baby zombies. There's somewhere close by.
Where'd they go? Where did they go? Yeah, that was a nice little battle. Dead end. Sorry, cause led you to a dead end. Meanwhile, Izzy has taken off somewhere. Skeleton. We'll just follow the darkness. We're back at a ravine. The skeleton has dropped down. Took a shot at me while he was <laughs> while he was falling. What's up this way? Oh. Oh no. It's a big old spider. That is a confirmed kill. Dead end. Yeah, the creeper came out of nowhere. He dropped down from above.
another dead end. What a shot. What a shot. Hey, did I get him? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Let's get my arrows back. I'm taking fire, taking fire. There's a witch. There's a witch down there. I don't think I've ever killed a witch. I don't ever remember killing a witch. Hey, I killed a witch. <laughs> I think that's my first witch. I need to get a little witch sticker it on the windshield of my car. It's a confirmed witch kill. You saw it. I have it on film. Which it was kind of like, you know, she was a good ways off and she was trapped by the water and couldn't get to me. It's kind of like, <laughs> oops, it's kind of like tornadoes or Bigfoot. You, you want to see one, but you don't want to be that close to it. Same thing with a witch. I probably should not go down here. Something's going to drop in on us. It'll be death from above. Cosmo knows it. I saw him looking up. There's nothing down here. I don't know if I got that creeper or not.
was that a spider? Yeah, Cospa says rest in peace. And there's another spider that just fell to his death. Some of these monsters are like suicide bombers. They'll just jump from a hundred feet above trying to land on top of you. They probably know they're not going to make it. It's a dead end. Cosmo's always got my back. Skeleton. dead end. Well, it's just a dead end. Nothing down here. Yeah, once you pick a fight with an Enderman, you've got to finish it. Or he'll finish you.
dead end. should probably start thinking about how to get out of here. There's nothing down here except a lava pit. Yep, time to get back to the city. I said, let's dig up. How did he go up so quick? How did he do that? Did you see how fast he was going? Those guys are both on the surface. Oh, there's some dirt. Almost there. <laughs> and they're looking down on me. <laughs> and we're still relatively close to where we originally went into the cursed cave. Better block that up before someone falls down into it. Uh, yeah, I see what you're looking at. The sun is going down. Then we've got to get back to the city. Back to Patronville. This is going to be a hair-raising run. We're basically running for our life. We're probably going to encounter some pretty stiff resistance from the mobs.
Oh, I hear those wretched phantoms. If you don't sleep often enough, they come after you. There they are up in the sky. Cosma took a shot. Oh. <laughs> that one knocked me right off the sidewalk into the water. I hate those phantoms. Skeletons up here. Creepers. Izzy does. Okay. He does see it. The wall of the city is just beyond the ballpark. And there's the ballpark. We've got to get to the other side. There's a tunnel at the ballpark. If we can get into the tunnel, we might be okay. So we gotta run, 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 run. Good gosh. Look at the phantoms. I'm so close to the tunnel. There's the tunnel. Izzy's waiting. Oh, we went out to save Gosba. Come on, guys. Run, Forest. Run. Keep looking back to see where Izzy got off to. Did they get him? Is he dead? So the gates to the city are closed. So we're going to enter the city at one of the city's uh, battle stations. Here's the battle station on the left. Safety. Boy, there's a bunch of them out there, and they're definitely not trick-or-treaters. I'm not shooting at anything in particular. I'm just wanting to see these flaming arrows fly.
There's a lot of XP down there. I'd like to go down there and get that. I think Izzy has the same idea. I think that about does it. How does he just jump? Every time I try to jump like that, I can't do it. Stupid phantoms. Yeah, I think, I think I've had about enough of that. Uh, the safety of the city. Other than the phantoms. So that pretty much concludes this Halloween night of killing mobs. I'm going to drop off here at my house. Sun's coming up. And it was as fun as usual. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't too long of a too long of a video, but it's the way it is when you're having fun. So let's go in here and log off. Thanks for watching.